shout us out. Here I am. Yay. <laughs> uh, we have a new... Great. Here I am. All right, you guys. Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us for this very special live. Today, we are going to be visiting with my talented and beautiful friend, Charity Vandermeer, who's calling in all the way from the Netherlands. And many of you know today's live is a very special opportunity to get to know more about her exciting masterclass for nano felting wearables. So please say hi and where you're from. So Charity will be able to see you as well and um, be free to ask questions during this live session and I will feed them to her. I want you to know that I am wearing a wearable made by Charity. This is an incredible coat that lives here in the shop and sometimes I get to wear it too and we just want to thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, our school is feltingtutorials.com. That is our online school. Charity and many other talented teachers have come here to film class. Classes. But this is a very special, special class that Charity did and um, that we were able to help her bring to life. And I'm so excited to introduce you to the beautiful Charity Vandermeer. Please welcome Charity. Hi, dear. <laughs> Oh, hi, Marie. How are you? <laughs> I am going to try and listen in. So today's just going to be a little bit different, y'all. Usually I don't have headphones on, and I'm going to be listening in uh, to be able to hear Charity as well. And if I have to, I'll put my headphones on so that Charity. I can hear her. Okay, there. I'm a, little, I'm a little bit on a delay. Charity, thanks so much for being here today. I'm also very happy. Thank you for inviting me. And for giving me this Charity, opportunity um, to tell us a little bit class. about tell everyone a little bit about your class and what makes this particular class special for you and I have to put on my headphones y'all because I, I can't hear so I'm gonna be there we go um actually um, this class is very interesting because you are going to learn three techniques I could call them first you're going to learn I how can't to do hear. dyeing why You're going to learn how to dye your own fabrics, your own fibers. And then after that, you're going to learn how to make your pattern cutting and or maybe enlarge your um, your pattern that you have. And then you're going to felt a beautiful top, almost the same as the one I'm wearing. And afterwards, you're going to make this beautiful dress. I mean, um, it's not only this dress, you can have a var variation the way you want it, in a different way, less uh, textures, like this example of the green one, which has got less textures on it. Yeah, so well, you know what y'all should know, Charity's really well known for teaching her wearables and um, really helping you make wearables that are fitted to your body without needing to sew. Isn't that right, Charity? that's absolutely true it's um it's something i really love to do and i really enjoy sharing it with other people and teaching them how to go about it and changing things as we go while we're felting yeah charity we, people from we took classes in person charity travels all over the world teaching her classes i think it's really special that there's an opportunity to be able to learn remote with her online but every student who leaves a class, whether it's making a coat or a dress or a top or a tunic, Charity, their clothes always fit so perfectly. <laughs> they just look amazing no matter what. It's like you don't have 800 patterns. Tell us just a little bit about how you make it so special for folks. Actually, um, what I do about the felting is I try to use the... Um, the wool itself, you know, how to manipulate the, the way you're going to lay the wool in what direction. And the most important is to have that contact with the people. I can see them and then I can think, OK, what direction of wool would they need? How are we going to go about this? And sometimes people ask me what to fit or they'll look at one of my dresses and say, I want to make that one. And I can tell them, oh, maybe this one is not the right shape for you. So by just looking at the people and looking at their figures, that always helps me and I, to actually decide on what style, how are they going to lay the wood to fit that, um, their body. So it's not only about making a dress, it's about actually looking at the whole picture of making the dress for each individually. It's actually 
kind of personalized classes. Yeah, yeah, I think you're just, you're very, very gifted at that and very generous, Charity. It's it's so wonderful to see. Would you like to um, walk people through, uh, would we want to just walk through a little bit the trailer of the class and then you just give us those overall highlights? Oh, yes, please. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. So we're going to take you into the school right now here. Uh, this is the school is feltingtutorials.com. When you log into the school, you're in your dashboard here. And in your dashboard, um, you just go, like these are some badges you can earn down below. And when you click on my courses, you'll be able to see all of the classes you're enrolled in. And Charities is the most recent class, so it's right here on my list. And this right here is a trailer, so everyone can watch the trailer for the class. And then down here you see all of the um, topics that she covers in this class. So take your time if you're considering this class and read it. But I'm going to run through this uh, little intro here and let Charity guide us, just tell us a little bit about the class as we look at it. Um, you can see the, the, yeah, in this one, we are going to dye our own wool and you can see how I do it. You actually just use three primary colors. And from those three primary colors, you can dye the fabrics, the, the, the fibers and the wool itself. It's a very interesting um, uh, class because what comes out is totally different colors from what you think and what you expect. You learn how to make the patterns. You're going to learn the direction of the wool I was talking about. And you're going to first make a sample. And the sample this in this class would be a top. And you can see I'm wearing the top in that video as well. And I'm wearing it now. It fits, fits perfectly. And look how big that resist pattern is. And yeah, embellishing your finished garment just goes with it. And the fun part is I'll teach you how to actually, yeah, uh, felt it down and shape it and make sure it fits you. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's great when you finish to have a nice dress. Amazing. And uh, Charity, that's so fun. And you, now you design this really as like a five day class, right? So do you want to break it down for us a little bit, like day one, day two, just tell us what they're going to be learning in the different segments? Yeah, well, the most, um, what you do is the first, on the first day, you're just going to concentrate on the dyeing of the wool and the fibers and the silk fabrics. So I'll take you through on how two different ways of dyeing your wool, the steaming method and the cooking method. And the most important about this dyeing method is you don't have any residues of the, the, the dye remaining. So you're actually not damaging the environment. Although we're going to use DuPont, it's actually, we make sure that the dyes are all taken up by the, by the fabrics or the wool. So we don't have to throw anything away. And on the second day, we're just going to look at them. How are we going to go about with the samples? First, we're also going to look at what you've done evaluate the colors if you're happy or if you have to do it again and then on this same day we make um, we work very hard on developing your own resist pattern which sometimes gets you get confused but it's quite a good moment because you take your, in, your own measurements and you make a very simple resist pattern and you make a top from that one and the reason you make a top it helps you to understand the whole process afterwards and um, the third, on the third day, in fact, on the second day, you should be able to set up your table and everything ready to start off with your top. And on the third day in the morning, you should be finished your top and we get on to make the big dress. The big dress literally take the two days, mm -hmm. the two and a half days. So that's why you have the last two days to concentrate on making your dress. Yeah, fun. So all of that dyeing in, in the first day, that's so fun, Charity. And someone's asking, how much space do you think somebody needs to pull off this project? Um, actually, the first uh, time when I started just to do the, um, this class, I did start off on a smaller table because I wanted to show the people that you don't need a lot of space. Um, so I used a table of 1 meter 20 by 2 meters. So that's actually like really the smallest you need. 
-hmm. But if you can manage, you should, it's better to have those two tables that will help. But one meter 20 by two meters should be enough. And then okay. you see it in the video because I explain about it, how to go about on the smaller table. Right. So the, uh, by the two, we, we're talking like when you come here, when we make the dress, we usually have two six foot tables. <laughs> standard folding plastic tables but look y'all if yeah. you know if somebody wanted to make rather than make a tunic and then a dress if you wanted to make tunic 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 you could like if you just can't commit to that big space uh then they could make multiple tunics right charity yeah they can or they can just um in fact that's true they can make it um tunics and um, until they are really confident to mm -hmm. tackle the bigger project yeah, that's the goodness yeah. of this class yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. Fun, Charity. Yeah. Fun. Well, would you like to maybe we look at some of the now you recently taught this this exact class through the school online to a small group in France. So maybe tell us a little bit about that experience. And then when you're ready, we can also look at what those students made studying with you remote through the school. Um. At the beginning, when um, I was meant to be going to France to give a class at the end of November, December, but that's when all the European borders were closing and we couldn't go anywhere. And I had to think of what to do. The students were really keen on taking the their class, but you can imagine I can't speak French and they can't speak English. So it was something we had to do really and think pretty fast. So I suggested to Merusine that we I'm going to do we can try and do a remote I make uh, the videos I send them to you and then we do live for the five days each day I was present mm -hmm. and I was a little bit nervous because I wasn't sure what will happen but the first day was introducing ourselves and yeah uh, it felt good actually what mm -hmm. I realized the most important is just by being there and being able to see what they were making, I could tell when somebody was making a mistake. Mm. If somebody had put made up a pattern too small, because some people always have in their mind how the pattern should look or the resist, so they don't take, they don't really study the resist pattern making. So I could look at them and say, "No, that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> we have to stop and we have to change it." And I could ask students, can you just put your camera on your work? I can see how you're laying out the wool. Um, because felting, I always thought I had to be there. I had to see how the students are doing to make it work. Mm -hmm. But after doing this class, I'm confident that I can teach people remotely. Although I, I still have to see what they're doing. I need just a few hours in a day to keep an eye on what you're doing where you are, how you're cutting your patterns, how you're laying the wool, and how thick the wool is, and how, uh, and that really helped. Mm -hmm. After five days, I was actually surprised that <laughs> the ladies made beautiful garments. I, they actually surprised me myself too. That's so <laughs> it's a kind of a best way to, to meet people at this time when you can't go anywhere. Yeah. You actually was a nice discussion between the six students. Everybody had the questions and we were all like one group every day talking together. It was so much fun. No. It was really fun. Charity, we can only see half your beautiful face. So I'm going to have you come closer to your dresses. You're standing. No, the other way. There you come okay. in. More. Come in. No, come in closer into the middle of your dresses because you're there. You are lovely. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good. So Charity, now... To so you all know this class there's two ways you can take this master class with charity and one is completely self-paced so you can sign up for the class right now and start taking the lessons right now uh they're they're online and available streaming on demand you can take them also there is a live element that charity is talking about that she did with the french students and that's optional but it's it's optional but limited we have a very small group that will be in the live so that she can give attention to each person and i can tell you that there's just a few seats left because it is so small um, but those live session dates are february 11th 12th 
13th and 14th from 9 a.m. Central to 1 p.m. Central. So it'll be four hours each of those days that you can come in, ask questions, show Charity what you're doing. You can do some lessons now and get help then, right, Charity? Or wait yeah. and go through with you. But it will be four days live with her. Um, and it's an add-on to the class. Why don't we look at Charity, tell us a little bit more about what the, the students made. And I'll just pull up. We only have a couple of pictures from that class, but let me show those here and you tell us a little bit about them. Oh, you can see that's one of the ladies managed to finish within the time, actually, even much earlier than I'd expected. And it fitted up perfectly. You can see that. Yeah, it was beautiful. That's gorgeous. She had put the good days at the back. Mm hmm. Good days. It's a beautiful dress. Yeah. And this is a sample top. So. so pretty. It's pretty that it's, you know, it's so it's very simple. It's not overly textured. It's like just nope. interesting. Yeah. Is this that same top so or a different one? Yeah, it's the same top, but at the back, the back of the top. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. You can yeah so cute and one more and that was the the dress uh of one of the ladies she wanted it not too long not too wide so we managed that and it's, when she wears it it looks amazing mm, so cute 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 now this is yeah. that's a that's a small sampling but i think you also brought um some other dresses we have some runway clips do you want to talk us through those a little bit Yes, Marie. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Oh, let me go. I'm going to go back one. Here's one. So you tell us about these photos we're looking at here. Oops. Uh, the, the collection I made for the for the for the friendship days. So it's actually more of the the days uh, when people we actually met as women for the sort of optimist, and we made this fashion show. But the concept, I mean, the, I was inspired by La La Land. So I wanted to create something that was floating and you can actually dance because it was a beautiful occasion. So you can see that the dresses, it's actually the same as you can change. The variation are endless when you learn how to make that dress because this has got more uh, room in them. They can swing, they are light. So this is, yeah. And this is also the same, but this one has got more, it's heavier on the bottom. So this is also the goodness of this class. I can change the amount of wool I lay on the top and the amount of wool I lay on the bottom. Mm, lots, lots of love getting, getting, these photos are getting lots of love right now, Charity. Yeah, you can see that one as well. So this one also has got a more of changing of the colors and variation and yeah, the same. Um, more mm. of a nature kind of sunrise and set. This also is a dress with a lot of flares at the bottom. So this one has got more silk fabrics than wool. So it's an amazing dress actually. Mm -hmm. it, I wish I could see the, the whole thing. thing. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Okay. One the more only I thing think. I can say is once you learn this class, the variations are endless. How, mm. how, how you can change it, what you want to do and if you take the live sessions, you can always ask if you want to do it more because I also in the French class, some women actually did a totally different dress <sighs> from what I show. So you don't have to feel that it has to be like that. Right. You can actually just tell me what you want if you do the live session. Right. If you do that, because in, in your class, I made a skirt and I was the, everyone else yeah. made dresses and I made a skirt and then. One person was particularly fast and made a dress and a skirt <laughs> in our short yeah. time together. But and you remember one of the ladies? She made that beautiful long dress. Absolutely, yeah. she made yeah. a, a really amazing, long. Mm -hmm. yeah, long dress and very wide. Mm -hmm. And you have to work a little bit harder, but it's fun right. that from one technique you can make a lot out of it. <laughs> okay, so y'all, uh, let's queue up your questions right now for charity, and we might take another glimpse or two into some of these classes. So Brenda Hodges asked, how do you get a supply list for the class? The way we're doing supply list for all of the classes, all of the paid classes in the school, is that you get the supply list after you 
enroll in the class. So they are considered proprietary. And for this particular class, I'll just give you a heads up. You're going to need a bunch of silk, right, Charity? <laughs> silk fabrics <laughs> you're going to want. Wool fibers, fine, you know, 19 or finer uh, wool fibers, and silk embellishment fibers. And just think white because Charity's going to have you dyeing them all. So, wool, white, wool, white, silk in a variety. Everything of white. Yeah, everything white and, and white silk fabrics. And uh, the Margolon silk that we carry here, the, um, the Margolon silk is awesome for something really lightweight, but heavier silks right charity for more textured things if they want yeah, yeah so um you get the supply list after you join so now charity um jude asks about the pattern and she says i know the answer but you answer <laughs> so it says does the class provide the dress paper pattern or do we freestyle it yeah you freestyle it yourself mm -hmm. charity's going to yeah. teach you how to measure your body and then how to draft a pattern from those measurements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the tunic is the teacher, right? The tunic is the teacher project, so you see what to adjust and how it fits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What level of experience, Charity, would you say people should have to participate in this class? Um, they actually need to have the knowledge of felting, how to lay the wool. That's the most important part. For the rest, if you can felt, you actually understand the wool qualities and how the wool works. It's not really for beginners who've never done any felting before, mm -hmm. especially when it's done remotely. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we got the question, can you do it on one table, which we did answer earlier. She said, you know, like you could do a tunic on one table, but doing the full dress, you would want two tables. If you want to do a full dress, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. or even a even a, a a large skirt, a small skirt, mm -hmm. you could probably do on one table. I'm not sure. Depends on how how it depends on the size. Um, so B Matheson asked, I can't physically do a lot of rolling, so is it okay to use a sander? What's your thoughts on the sander, Charity? Um, actually, even in the videos and the project, your sander is required, so <laughs> you will need to use the sander. So that's nice. You can use the sander. Mm -hmm. Tina Parman asks, is there a kit? No, there's not a kit, Tina. Um, it really is going to be a la carte. It really will be a la carte. Yeah. Not... <laughs> and because it's all Sorry. white, it's easy for them to just order it themselves. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll have a tickle in my throat. And I, <coughs> I can't turn myself off. <laughs> I don't know how to turn off this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Charity. Yeah, um, they're, they're... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Now, I was talking about the kit. I said, because you're going to work with white and you're doing the dyeing yourself, it's actually easy to just buy your own fabrics, your own fibers. And then you can also have extras. You can, you can dye more and make something else afterwards. So you don't need a kit for this one. Right. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. You're going to want more on hand than you need. And everyone's a different size also. And people are going to have yeah. different desires of what they want to make. So there really is, there's not a one size fits all kind of kit. But it is a good question because I know that can be helpful. And Devin, yes, yeah. she, she says she does recommend a sander. And um, we do have that on our website. Actually, under the FAQ on our regular website, I show, I'm just going to pop up the website here. Under the FAQ, which I started and never got very far on, there is a sander there that we recommend. You can get it on Amazon. Um, yeah. So Jennifer asks, would you be offering another live add-on in the future? Because she feels that she doesn't have enough experience uh, right now to take the class. Yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah, we, we would like to. And, but you know, she we can just... also, if she, hmm, Go the ahead. top, if they want to take only a top, you can also do that. If you're not experienced, you can do, do the class, but in the meantime, just do the top. Yeah. Because that's yeah. the only way you get to get experience. Mm -hmm. And what's the micron of merino that you like to have for this project, Charity? Um, 18 or 16. Usually 16 is the best. Mm -hmm. 16 or 18. But, but 19 to 18 to 16 should be okay as well. And just a ballpark figure, how much wool do you have them bring for making the dress? Um, I just you just mentioned that we all different in terms mm -hmm. of sizes, but yeah. for the for the standard size of size, um, yeah, in the America, I think six or eight. <laughs> I, I get confused. No, for Europeans, yeah. size 38. 
I usually you you need to have at least 350 to 400 grams of merino but because I don't know the sizes of the people I ask people to have at least 500 grams which you normally don't use right which is a, about a pound just think of a pound 500 grams yeah. is a pound Okay, Charity, some people are asking, not everyone knows you or, or has read your bio before. Tell them just a little bit about your background, you know, how you came to, to felt making, because it's really a, a nice, interesting story. So give some folks who maybe are just meeting you for the first time, just bring us a little bit to how you came to being such a talented uh, designer in felt making. <laughs> yeah, um, I started as a... Um... As a fashion designer, I, exp I started my fashion at Nottingham Trent in England. Yeah, some, well, long time ago. So I can't even remember, but I know it's a long time ago. And after that, uh, when I moved to the Netherlands, I came across the sheep in the fields because I love walking. And um, I was just like really intrigued by them. So I wondered what I could do with the wool. I know I couldn't spin, so I couldn't use the wool for the, for, for spinning and to knit something. So I just went on the, that time there was a bit of Google and I Googled it and I saw that you can felt. And it was in the, one of the craft magazine where somebody had done some felting. Mm -hmm. So it was like, just from that day, I went to the ship to the farmer's house and I bought some wool without not knowing what to do. And it couldn't felt anyway. So, <laughs> so in the end I discovered I could buy it from someone, the proper <laughs> marina. And yeah. that was the beginning of my journey. And so I started to experiment really. And mm -hmm. because I had done already the fashion, the only thing I wanted to make was to make clothes. And so it was more or less my journey started from that day on just to find a way to make clothes. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, because I've been there since the lockdown, I've been clearing my studio and I saw some jackets I made. I'm like, my goodness, you can't even get in it because it was so tough. <laughs> and so that's actually that tells the journey that I started with really making very terrible, terrible felt. And now it just improves and every day I still I'm learning. So I really find that felting is a journey that never ends. Yeah, you can just keep mm -hmm. learning and improving on it. And because the materials are so easy to find and they're very versatile, so you can actually really manipulate felt. You can manipulate wool in all kinds of words. It's not only clothes can you make from it. Yeah. And that's what makes it so attractive to work with. I so agree. that's a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, incredibly <laughs> versatile. And, and Charity really understands how the wool works. And what she's going to do in the class is show you how to lay out the wool so that your garment fits the way you want. There's nothing, you know, so many, you'll see so many felted garments out there and this, this part of the sleeve is like this big, you know, and it buckles, you know, when the arm is down or it binds on the chest or doesn't give in the hips where you need it to. And I can tell you that Charity and I, we're completely different size and shapes like different heights mm -hmm. and shapes and she has a dress here that she made in her sunset dress class we both can fit in that dress because it gives when you put it on and it's just a pull over your head very pretty girly dress that looks amazing on charity <laughs> for sure yeah. um, on your new but, too as well Marie it's, it feels <laughs> it feels a little girly yeah. for me I'll be honest with you because <laughs> it's so That's pretty it feel silly, you know? I never feel that fancy <laughs> but it's so pretty and and what I love is that she really teaches you, you're going to learn a lot of just about how wool works just by making your own wearable. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's see what they were asking. Uh, how are the garments, the finished garments, how do you clean them? Such a, a common question. Um, how do you clean the garments? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing is think of it wool. Like I said, it's <laughs> amazing uh, fiber because one, it doesn't really get dirty so quick. Um, what I do is the first few months of wearing it, I just hang it outside to air when it gets dirty and you'd be surprised after a few hours outside, it won't, um, you just take it in and steam it and it's fine. Uh, if it's, if I really, really need to clean it, I just wash it. I get some warm water in the basin, soak your wool in and let it stand there for 20 minutes and rinse it out. 
spin the water out to dry it and the only thing you have to do if it's a dress you made for yourself after spinning it out ironing it a little bit and then put mm -hmm. it back on right. and shape it around yourself it really will shape around your body once again and it mm -hmm. will fit without having any problems yeah. so that's the goodness of wool you don't need you hardly wash them <laughs> Um, yeah. And so someone asked how the sunset class differs from this one. And I'll say um, Charity shot the, the sunset dress class here in the Living Felt Studios. In that class, you're going, you don't make the tunic. You don't do any dyeing of fibers or no. fabrics. And she teaches you how to make this cowl collar. So you can make a short or long cowl collar, or you could do it differently than a cowl collar. But um, if you're looking for something that is not quite as in-depth as the dyeing, the sunset dress is a great class to take because she teaches you the measurement, the pattern drafting, the wool layout, but it's a different dress. Is that what you add they, anything to that, Charity? Yes, uh, because in this new class, you actually learn also to make the dresses airline dress. So you are adding the godets oh. into it. So you're mm. adding a lot of volume in your dress. Right. So that makes it a completely different uh, technique. And that's quite nice for if you want to change the shape, like, yeah, it's, it's one extra part that goes right. into this dress as well. Right. So the sunset dress is, is more of a straight it's skirt, straight. although it's roughly, it's more of a straight skirt. Yeah. So she teaches you some nanofelt textural techniques, but it isn't that skirty, swirly. Why? Yeah. It's not the one with those kinds of curves in it, which she calls the, the godets. Um, like you see, let's see, I can pull up one here just to make it a little, what's that? You can show the top. You can see the side part of the top has got, um, that extra, this one. Uh, where do I, I don't think I have that one queued up. Where is it? Let's see. I don't have it's that at the one. End, um, on the, um, the trailer, the, the oh, uh, on the trailer. Okay. Let me pull that mm. up y'all. <clears throat> The one you're wearing let me go back to that if i can let's see if i can play it again mm. one second i have to go in and go out this is cool but now someone else asked about the class um someone else asked about the classes and is it one to one and no it's not one to one it is one to many so the class is on demand and streaming yeah. now. The live sessions are an add-on um, that are optional. They do cost extra. And in those, the entire group would be meeting together um, on those days. Um, Charity, at the end of the trailer... But it's a I'm... small group. So it's... Um... We, yeah. We're trying to limit the number to six people so you don't have too many people, so you get all the attention you need. Right. Right. So here, let's see. Here, I have a picture of you. I have a picture of you wearing the top. So we have a little slideshow yeah. here. Um, let me go here. We have a little slideshow here on the page. And so oh, yeah. right there, let me go back. I don't know how to, it, it runs without, I don't think I can stop it, but yeah. right there, Charity is wearing the same top that she's wearing right now. And that's a little extra swirly do in the, in the bottom of the skirt. So you see the bottom of that skirt is very full and will yeah. swing out. Um, and the sunset dress doesn't do that. So hopefully that answers that question. Um, Tina Parman asked, how do you add the live? In order to take the live session, you must first enroll in the class, and then you need to email learn at feltingtutorials.com with your interest. We're just taking a first come, first serve basis, and we'll be sending out the um, payment information for people who sign up for the live. Um, <clears throat> Dara says, I want to do both classes. So much to learn from her. That's so sweet. <laughs> Oh, that's and, nice. Thank you. <laughs> and B. Johnson says, I won't be available till April. Can I take the class then? B, great question. All of the classes in the school, <clears throat> and for those of you who are just joining us, these are the classes on feltingtutorials.com. They are available for you to take 
when you enroll. So it doesn't matter. And you can yeah. revisit the classes as many times as you want. So as soon as you sign up, the class is ready. The live sessions, however, with Charity will be scheduled. Right now, we only have the first live session scheduled February 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th from 9 a.m. Central till 1 p.m. Central. Hey, Charity, is there some part of the class you want us to jump into and uh, give people a little glimpse of? What would you like? Maybe we can show them the, um, where we, I'm doing the fooling of finishing off. The, um, that's the part, the of nice the, part of, of the dress. Okay. Of the dress. Okay, let me, I can't, I'm, I'm working with a tiny screen here, so y'all, so bear with me for a second, and I'm going to try and get us over there. So... Um, I think this is it. Finishing, fitting. No, let me go back. Um, fulling, rolling, fulling, found it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here we go. Um, and I will, let me see one second. Let me blow this up here. After rolling. Oh, um, yeah. I'm going to turn you down. off, Charity, so you can tell. Okay, Charity, you tell us. Where, where do you, I want yeah. to jump ahead a little bit. You tell us a little bit. Yeah, this is um, what I like about this part is after you've been working so hard, you've been dying and after three days, actually you had enough. And when I take out my resist and I start doing this part, I just get energized because what happens is then I know the dress has to be ready. And usually I just don't stop. I keep going on and on and on. And this is so really relaxing. It's almost like meditating. Mm -hmm. So I always think this is the most, um, it's one of the parts I really like, I really enjoy to do. So if you join me, you see how to do this and you agree with me because you're like, okay, how long, how many times you count? <laughs> and sometimes I even stop counting. Yeah. <sighs> I love it. I love feeling that I'm going to jump ahead here. I love feeling the fiber, just the fabric, just really start to yeah. change density in your to hands. change, yeah. Mm. You know that miracle, it's almost like when the miracle starts, they, <laughs> this, 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 this just shrinks in and then just the shape, the shaping starts to come and uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It yeah. goes from feeling mm -hmm. kind of mushy to just really yeah. having life. Yeah. It's yeah, amazing. absolutely. Yeah. And it's after looking after I'm uh, looking at it for two days and you're busy laying the wall and embellishing and then you think, okay, when is it going to finish? <laughs> and, then age, and it goes so fast. Look at me. I'm smiling already. <laughs> you're always smiling, Charity. I love that about you. Um, you know yeah. what I, I would love to do is, is pull up the, um, maybe the end video where you're wearing the dress and we can actually see okay. it on you because yeah. you, where you kind of say bye. Uh, so let me pull yeah. that up here and um make sure that sound is off all right y'all so here's the here's the dress that she made uh love this hold on here we go i gotta turn that off and uh, charity on bear with me look at that dress charity wow tell us about this dress what do you love about it I mean, it's just so light. It's so pretty. I mean, it's just, I love the colors. It feels good when you're wearing it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I just love it. And those roses, you can see them. They just come alive when you put it on. The textures, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, love, love, this is really, you know, when you're happy that you have all these different embellishment fibers. Oh. Look at how gorgeous that is. <laughs> and off she goes. <laughs> that is just so fun. Yeah. So now's, now's a chance. Oh, Charity, lots of feedback. Y'all uh, ask the questions if you want to now. Someone asked, are there still spots left? There's always spots left in the on-demand class. You can sign up for that yeah. right now. You do have to join the school. Joining the school is absolutely free. We have free classes you can take. Make sure the technology works for you and that you have the bandwidth to stream. There's nothing to download except for supplies.
supply lists or guides or any things that the teachers provide for support, but you don't have to download big video files. It's on-demand streaming on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, wherever you are, you can access your class. But are there spots left in the live session? I don't know. By now they could be sold out because we've been talking live and people could be lining up. But please sign up for her class if you're interested. Then email us after you enroll uh, that you want to join the live sessions. And hey, look, you know, you could, if you feel you're not ready, you could spend a month watching these videos and then put your toe in the water and decide to try the dye portion and then get ready to dye your tunic. And then maybe if you're nervous to do the dress, join the next live session that's available. You yeah. could still sign up for it. After you've joined the class, you can join a live session, so I'm, I'm, right? Up to work. Yeah. yeah, you can you can really go at your pace with this um, and take your time. So there's always space in the on demand. Gloria Williams says you do have a beautiful, warm smile, Charity, and the dress is gorgeous. <laughs> and Eva says, "Wow, just wow." I agree. I would love to try that dress on. I would I would feel yeah. a little. Uh, it's great colors, Charity, and a beautiful length you made. Gorgeous. Um, Let's see, did you wet felt, so Tammy asked, did you wet felt your ruffles and flowers or stitch them on the purple dress? I wet felted them. Nothing was stitched. <laughs> no, 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 she, she makes it all in, yeah, on video, she'll show you how to do it. Very cool. Okay, Omi Gray says, Charity, I just signed up. I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dara says, I remember Marie showing a tiny dress that she made as a test. I want to make one of those just for fun. You know, Charity, I didn't think about that, but I have one of the tiny dresses that you made. Oh, yeah. The ones <laughs> yeah. we make out of I should put it yeah. on one of my dolls for sure. Yeah. Charity, what actually, final? when I was typing I, I saw a lot and I picked up the bigger ones that I'm going to I was like, oh, these ones can fit a baby. So they have piled up a lot of them to bring with me when I go to Zambia. Oh, oh my little <laughs> That's so cute. Charity, is there anything final you would like to add about this class for people to know or to think about um, in deciding to take the course with you? I just think um, we all know that felting is just... It, it only needs only needs wool, silk, and it doesn't need a lot of other equipment. It's just one amazing um, art to do because I just find felting so relaxing and almost med meditative. So what I say to the people is start felting. If you can't felt a dress, do something else mm -hmm. because it's a nice technique to learn. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Now, we, we did get one question that if someone doesn't want to make a dress, could they um, make a coat or a duster instead? Um, in this, I mean, it's difficult if you just pick up, if you buy this class and then you want to make a coat. I'm not talking about a coat. That would be difficult. That's what I'll say. Yeah. A coat because the sleeves are a different animal, mm. different a different animal, and yeah. a coat is a coat is a different fit than uh, the dress is too, or potentially so it may not be. But if you've never none of felt it a wearable, then start with a dress before you get to the yeah. sleeve part. That's right? the best to so start with a dress. You know, you learn your fitting, how things fit around your body, and then you go on with the jacket. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Trisha Slater asked, can she dye the garment after she's made the dress? Definitely. That's what I did with the green one. That's why it's there. Mm. This was dyed afterwards. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. That's a fun thing to do, to dye after. It is really fun. Yeah. A fun process as well. Um, okay, and Dara has a non-class question. She wants to know more about your necklace. I think a few people have commented on your necklace. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, it's... Um, it's, you know, when you felt sometimes you make the little balls because I prepared them for something and uh, one day I just didn't know what to do and what else to do. I just decided to make the necklace. It's actually felted balls with a wire. Very fun. Very fun. Really? <laughs> cool. 
Well, listen, y'all, we just thank you so much for joining us. Charity's an amazing teacher. I can tell you myself, I've not only taken a class with her, but I've been here when she's teaching live, teaching others. I see the results of the things that people make. She's a very generous teacher. She'll show you everything. Um, there is a live chat. Um, there is a live chat. There's a chat section available. So for those of you who are doing the self-study or the self-pace, there is a chat room. And in any class you're in, the teachers would love to hear from you. So post a chat, post a hello, post your challenge, post a photo to go with your questions so that the instructor can help. But even if you don't get into the live session or you choose not to take the live session, you can use the chat to share where you are and what questions you have or what challenges you have. Those Not are fancy. available. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to helping to facilitate this will be the first classes in the school that have a live session component. Um, but Charity's done it already and now it's available to everyone. So really look forward to seeing what y'all make. We hope that you will um, share what you make of anything in the school. Tag us on Instagram and um, we'll share Charity's uh, Instagram and Facebook actually here in the description after you close the live chat. Make sure that you visit the school, enroll, look for a class that you want to take. Remember that you can um, take free classes. You can join us in our Facebook group, Living Felt Friends, where we share stuff all week long. And of course, if you're in the States or North America, you can get supplies from us. It's a lot harder to send those abroad right now I'm sorry to say um, but Charity we're really looking forward to the live sessions with you and just seeing what your students make in this class so thank you for being here my friends thank you indeed for coming yeah okay <laughs> okay bye everyone thanks so much have a great day